We're back in a place where tornadoes happen. I feel so at home. In the Longhorn State, heading to get our rental car. What size should we get? Should we get a medium one? Because we don't want something too big if we're driving in the city. So this is the gold section right here. It's very small. Small little gold section. Well, we're not in the president's circle. I thought gold would be great. I know. When they said but gold, we were like, shit. There is, I guess, the president's circle and five star. Those sound fancier. They make everyone feel fancy. I'm, I'm, I guess they do. Okay, 360 Brunch House, I would like to talk to you. It was so cute, but it the food really was cute. so under seasoned. 360 Brunch House is just a terrible name. I thought it was going to be a diner. There was nothing 360 about it. Where were the circles? Where was the the tables were <laughs> actually, square? Actually, actually, there was Everything. that drink with the bubble on it. Yes, that was three sixty. Yes, but I only saw one of those three sixty brunch house. I think you I should. I had eggs Benedict. I think you should go on this bubble thing, and you should call it the bubble bar or like bubble brunch. Jared is so good at naming things. Yes. <laughs> this is so embarrassing to do in front of you. I almost want to kick you out of the car. Do you know about what's happening tonight? Something bad's happening tonight. Or I shouldn't say bad, right? I like, I'm nervous about today. I guess I've also done it where it's like, I'm so scared. Or like, this is going to be terrifying. I can't believe this is happening tonight. I, that's yeah, a good one. That's, that's a good one. Okay. Oh my God, guys, I can't believe this is happening tonight. Here, I gotta figure out what I have to put. What I have to specifically say. I gotta get a picture. Wait, what did I decide I was going to say? <laughs> I'll have to watch this back. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening tonight. I can't believe this is happening tonight. I can't believe this is happening tonight. Oh, and then I can put the pictures they sent me. I have to try to sleep while you, the audience, gets to vote on how to scare me. It comes in theaters today and I'm waiting to watch it until after I go through this so I don't scare myself too much. But if you want to- I actually, I think I want to use this one. after it happened and we were like this doesn't sound doesn't like it sound really real. happened like it sounds dumb there's a landmark in dallas which is an eyeball in the middle of a field in the city this was like the one thing that we really wanted to do we were talking about this the whole time this so giant eyeball statue we followed the tentacle coming out of the <laughs> <laughs> there is a tentacle coming out of another parking garage it like moved like up and down and we followed it to the eyeball in the field but the eyeball was surrounded by gates. The eyeball was gated <laughs> under heavy security. <laughs> we could not get close to it. So we have like pictures of us like on like in front of the gate, <laughs> but the gate's like taller than us, so you can't even see. <laughs> but then I noticed there was a building that had a courtyard, and in the courtyard was the eyeball. So I was like, oh, we'll go into the building. We went into this fashion building, and we were not able to go into the courtyard but we did find a vagina snake. <laughs> we did find a vagina snake. It's 
So then we go to this cute little restaurant named Dahlia. We both walked in. We were like, oh, I take my mom here. Like it had flowers everywhere. Nice. We had ratatouille. We had a flatbed. We sat on a comfy couch. We did. It was wonderful. Where is she? <laughs> Cheers. I have a little flower. You this do. Is such a good I have drink. a little dehydrated lime. Okay. Very different vibes here. I don't like it. I like mine. I'm glad you do. <laughs> I was doing a promotion for a horror movie. They built me a set, and I had to sleep on the set. 12 hours and they live streamed it on my TikTok and my followers got to vote on how they wanted to scare me and the things they wanted to do to like fuck with me while I they sleep. They wanted to do some crazy things. So I was there for 12 hours. I would do this again in a heartbeat. This was such a cool different experience that I'll never get to have again probably. Like so fun and different and cool. But it was 12 hours and I started to feel like a caged animal you know what i mean because it's like you're literally in a set like in a box and people are just trying to like freak you out all the time people are banging on the walls people are throwing shit at you i consented to everything i'm not complaining at all but like you really after a while you're sitting there and you're hearing all these loud noises and stuff and you go a little crazy and we ended up getting 410,000 views so we did really well so at like when the views were kind of going down when it was like really late in the night because we started at nine o'clock and then we ended at 9 a.m. They were like, hey, like, you can, like, go to sleep. And I was like, oh, thank God. And so I went to sleep. They gave me earplugs and I went to sleep. Because originally when it was, like, pitched to me, it was like, you're going to sleep. And the guy slept the first night. And then this girl the night before me that went, she didn't sleep. And she, like, interacted with the room and, like, screamed and kind of did stuff I did. And they really liked that. And that, that got a lot of views. So they were like, you need to do that. And I was like, great. Because my whole thought when we booked the flight was like, oh, if we leave the apartment at 3 a.m. We get on the plane at 6. We get to Dallas at 9 a.m. We wear ourselves out in Dallas. Then I'll sleep like a baby on set. And then I get to set and they're like, so you're not sleeping. And I was like, oh, okay. But I mean, that's what I was there to do. You know, I put my booty into it. Yeah, you did really good. We got a million views on the video. We got 410,000 views on the thing. <laughs> Yeah. The owners owned a theater company. And so all of the theater stuff, the theater company, that was like their warehouse. So all of the theater stuff was upstairs. So like upstairs, there were all these costumes and props. And then in and my bed, they gave Garrett a little mattress. They offered to set him up in a hotel, but I asked him to stay with me. And he respected that. They were good to us. I had 12 hours to kill, right? So there was a bookshelf, and so I just started going through every book, and I looked at the books, and they were all theater books, but it was cool. I, like, grabbed a couple, and I, like, read through them when I could throughout the night, but the problem is, like, you're, like, also being scared, you know, when someone's, like, throwing the covers off of you, or there was a rocking chair. The closet door would open and close, and there would be, like, glowing eyes in the closet. There was a hand that would come up from under the bed. would be banging on the walls yeah they let like, garrett do it too like they would go behind the set and they would bang on the walls we literally just banged on the walls with our, like, and they scrap they scratch them. that's one that i thought was cool we would scratch the walls i i've tried scratching the walls but my my nails are too short right now And then I tried taking some things and scratching them, but it just didn't work as well. My favorite thing was like 
Garrett started throwing books at me. <laughs> and people were like, where are the books coming from? <laughs> well, like, in the comments, I saw, like, take her book away or something like that. And then I was like, they want to do something with the books. And I walked up to somebody and I was like, hey, can I, like, throw books at her? And they were like, oh, yeah, 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 do it. So I went over and I was in the corner by where the bookshelf was. It was kind of off screen. So I was like, I'm just going to throw books from here. And it's going to look like books are flying from the shelf. So I threw a bunch of books because at the Grace. Way, that was my favorite part. It was multi-cam, but the way it was set up, you didn't see half the room. You know what I mean? There was like a whole other half of the bedroom that you didn't see. So like, they didn't know. If, like, it could totally be another part of the room. I also threw clothes at her. There was like a laundry hamper in the closet. Oh my God. And people would like throw the clothes at me from inside the laundry hamper. Oh, and also the clothes that were hanging up, they would like move the hanger. <laughs> This book is about me and Katie Gleason and our other sister. We're three tall girls. We all auditioned for a tall girl movie. And did not get cast. And did not get cast. <laughs> no, it's, our other sister is the girl who actually played tall girl. <laughs> but she's, she's like not tall apparently. Oh, well, fuck her. Wait, she wasn't that tall. Apparently she was like five eight. Wait, can you share some of the comments that you saw on the live stream? We're gonna code name the monster from the movie, and we're gonna name him Oogie Boogie. Because legally, I can't talk about uh, the company or the movie. It would just take a lot of time to get it cleared. Uh, yeah. Um, because of the company that it is. And it's just not worth it for the potty. The monster was in the closet, and they were like, Oh, she should get in there with him and close the door. <laughs> get, get it on with Boogie Woogie. Oogie boogie. <laughs> and then like they were making like gay jokes mm. being like he better come out of the closet or like yeah. what was it you see i couldn't see any of the comments Oogie boogie come out of the closet <laughs> <laughs> he's shy he won't come out there's garrett go there's gonna be music over something. all of this i'm sure some people are So uh, we are um, doing a TikTok live stream. This is a program called OBS. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a piece of hardware called an 8 to Mini Pro. It's a video switcher. So we have camera one, camera two, camera three up there. And uh, if you look um, at our preview window, window uh, you can see that I can change. Oh, that makes so much sense. I can also um, have this set to a, a timer, so it just automatically transitions. Oh, how do you set it? Uh, it is, I'm just personally curious. Yeah, it is in this, um, where is this software? So we, uh, it's called a macro. It's like a little mini program. Uh -huh. I have it set up to uh, go from camera one, wait uh, 20 seconds, go to camera two, wait 20 seconds, go to camera three, wait 10 seconds, and then just go back to camera one. And it just automatically does that whenever. Oh. Running. Pretty easy. Pretty oh, basic I stuff. see. That makes sense. Um, over here, uh, I have a, a local server running that has all of my lights on it, and so I program them for full control, so that I can um, switch to different color states. We also have uh, some additional lights to really blow out the red. That's just on a remote. Um, over here, we're using a VJ software called Breslum. This is how we trigger our sounds. What is this used for other than like this kind of thing? Typically, like, this, what's it made for? Like live concert visuals. Okay. So VJs are what they call are called. So like visual DJs, kind of. Uh huh. Uh, like raves and stuff. Exactly. Okay. So anything with like, even like with big shows like Beyonce or whatever, like they have like big LED screens behind them typically. Bluetooth doesn't sound. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, and then we have uh, the the window back there is a screen, and so I can control. Oh, that's the, a TV. Yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. 
I thought it was one of those like sphere Halloween projectors, but that, yeah, that makes this more sense. gives us a little more control. <laughs> um, and then we oh, have sun. this TV over here that I can also. Wait, is that the sun? Or... Oh, yeah. Um, and then we also have a handful of practical effects. Um, like the, the closet door opens and closes. We have a fog machine that we can turn on here. Um, I don't want to mess up any of the, no, the, the set, but yeah. we have these switches that when we turn on, the paintings drop. Uh -huh. uh, so it kind of looks like a possession in the, the Will room. I pick them up? No, they just stay on the ground. So they fall once and then they're done for the and night? Done. But we have three of them. So oh, they don't all fall at once. Okay. Right. Is this actually modeled after one of the rooms in the movie? It's kind of inspired by the little girl's room in the movie, um, but it's not like a direct like replica. We also have this like uh, you know, classic, just pull the rope, rocking chair moves. Uh, oh, that's yeah. how y'all were doing it. Yeah. And then we also have. Is that uh, what they usually do? Probably, I think so. For theater. Uh huh. Stuff. Yeah. takes his time. <laughs> he doesn't have to rush for anybody. Yeah, we might need to like just rotate that a little bit. That's just his fingers. He's got long fingers. We're gonna see it when we get back to New York. So like the day after tomorrow. Uh, we also have uh, Um, my brother was in the army. So okay. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know if that was like a monster or something it's a monster that you guys like threw in there. <laughs> like I could, cause from the live it like, you can't see what it is really. Oh, right. And then the so live, scary. Live, you can see from where you're at is this little hole here. Uh, <laughs> this is where we can reach through. And, and you're gonna pop out of it just like that. So they oh see gosh. your hand. <laughs> Yeah, so a hand, and then it grabs the sheet, and then pull, and then it looks like the sheet's just getting... So is it just like your regular hand that the uh, audience they, sees? No, they... They give you like yeah, a glove? Yeah, before we do that, you know, we put this on our arm, and then we have a little black glove that be a... Mm, more... A ghostly hand. Ghostly hand. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. We went to... Dockyard. Yes, because at 11.30 they have a little cow walk. And this is like an old western looking town. And but apparent. it's like renovated. So, or not renovated. It's like... It's a full on tourist trap. Yes, that's what it is. And we got there at like 11.40 and the cow walk where they walk all the cows through the town was over. Apparently it's a very short walk. It's a whole bison head. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. For five dollars. Oh God. You could take a picture with the cow. And Garrett had cash, so I got to do it. And I went over to the cow. And I was wearing a long skirt, and so I needed to keep my legs closed. And so the guy who was like running the cow thing. This handy gentleman <laughs> with Southern charm. He was like, oh, like, you're not from around here, are you? And I was like, oh, how could you tell? And like, we were flirting up a storm, like, me and the cowboy. I like your tattoos, young lady. And like, that's not how he spoke. <laughs> um, and he was like, give me your hand and I'll help you on there. You got it, missy, little lassie. <laughs> <laughs> and so <laughs> Garrett took my picture and then he like stepped closer like a few steps like not really close to the cow that honestly it wasn't too close well like before the pictures Grace mentioned like oh we should get some together where we're like you're by me and I'm on the cow and I was like yeah that would be cute so after I took the pictures of her I walk up and I'm like hey could we get some pictures together and he's like step away from the cow <laughs> sir <laughs> step away from the cow <laughs> He was like, come here, a little lassie. And then no. he's like, step away from the cow. He literally goes, no, get away. And at first I thought he was <laughs> at first I thought he was joking because of how like dramatic the change was in his tone between me, like versus me and Garrett. And so I started laughing because I was like, there's no way this man's being serious. And he was like, I mean it. 
I mean it. Step away from that cow. It and Garrett was like, could I like stand over here and get a picture? No, no. And I was like, shit. And then he turns to me, do you need help down, little lassie? Oh my gosh, look at the elephant. Whoa, in the hippo? Oh, that's wild. I kind of love Texas. My Bellini was $5. Oh my god. <laughs> I had the most pathetic attempt at riding a, a bowl. mechanical bowl. <laughs> I mean, I knew I wouldn't be good at it, but... He fell right off. Yeah, and pretty much. As you fell I... off, you hit your head on the bull. Yeah. And then the guy was like, did you hit my bull? And I said, no, <laughs> sir, your bull hit me. <laughs> And he was like, you hit my bull. We have my... this on video. <laughs> he, said, he said, you hit my bull. My bull looks sad now. You see that? And I was like, what? No, your bull just hit me. And the like, back you're of the controlling head, the bull. I might have a concussion or something. Like... I'm going to try to find this video, see if I have it on video. Him, like, yelling at you. Come on! <laughs> you got a little fan club over here! Knock him off! Oh my! <laughs> oh no, you don't really hear it. <laughs> you see that bull smack Garrett's head! And then, like, when I got off, the other, like, tourist people obvious that they were tourists. Yeah, it was they a good were group like, of girls. They were like, are you okay? Yeah, are like, okay? like Garrett clearly got hit by the bull. And then, and then the guy was like, you hit my bull. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> what is happening? And then we went into a lot of interesting shops. Like, they had, like, bull ball keychains. And a stripper squirrel. They had a stripper squirrel. And the poodle deer. Okay, and there was, like, a whole stripper squirrel scene. There was a stripper squirrel. There was a squirrel drinking beer. There was also a rare taxidermy poodle deer. Oh yes, a must see. Taxidermy deer ass, $299. He's staying on there longer than you are. I'd like to see him stay on the subway with no hair. <laughs> it's a pony. Look at the pretty, pretty pony. I'm allergic oh. to that bitch. Why is she bumming her head like that? <laughs> Everyone I, will yell. I don't yell. know how to handle myself around animals, apparently. <laughs> We're gonna miss both cattle drives, but we can just take our picture right there. Which one is Bessie? Like, which one's Kira's car named after? Kira's car. The booger one. <laughs> the one with the booger. I was gonna say the one with all the flies. <laughs> the flies with the booger. No, like, for sure, actually. Kira drives like a scary white man. And he kind of has little scratches. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, it's like dripping. We're gonna find you some boots. Yeah, probably not at this store. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that one's walking. Look at that one walk. Oh, it's just stomping. Have you ever seen how pee? I was in Montana once, I saw a cow pee, and literally it just goes <laughs> <laughs> it's like crazy. I um, see some cow poop right there. A cow pooping, that's, that's more general, but when the cow pees, it's like <laughs> I was like, like male and female? What's happening to that cow? Um, it was a bowl. Oh. It's probably easier for the women. I went to the bathroom, <laughs> and the lights started flickering, but like f fading in and out, you know? I didn't notice until the very end. I just thought to myself, like, wow, that really didn't phase me. But I guess we just came from a like, horror set where the lights were fading on and off a lot. Yeah, like... Different colors. And then the same thing happened when I went into the bathroom. I didn't think much of it because I was just in a haunted house, but the people in the bathroom were, were commenting. Why were they talking so much in the bathroom? The people here are weird. They're being weird to Garrett. They're all flirting with me. <laughs> all these southern gentlemen. gentlemen. Except for Garrett. Garrett is not hey, a southern gentleman. If we found the right bar, I would find some southern gentlemen. Trust me. Oh, I'm sure you would, honey. I'm sure you're the best option in town. Probably, actually. We are at Jack in the Box trying it for the first time. Kat said to try the curly fries. Time for the review. The onion rings are bad. I took one bite and I did not finish. They're okay. There's something about the oil that is kind of like weird. 
They gave us marinara sauce with mozzarella sticks and it's like sour. What? Yeah, it's, like, it's sour. Here, have mine. I don't like it. The fries are really bland, but the curly fries are good. Kat was right about the curly fries. Isn't it sour? It was 10 bucks. <laughs> this is like really sugary. The mozzarella sticks on their own are fine. Well, we tried it. Someone recommended boot bar. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that you said it like that. Someone recommended boot bar. So we moseyed on over to boot bar. We moseyed on down to the boot bar. I found the gayest boots that they had in store. That's what happened. You no? say that and I would think you would be like describing like, like bedazzled, like they yeah. were literally like a solid brown color. Yeah. And like that and is it. They have like a, they they They're very pointy and yeah, they have a little the gold tip. They are pointy. They have a little gold tip. I can kick ass with them. They're hard. I had if him I'm... kick me in the shin with them. And <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad, Grace. I asked you to. I, 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 I more than consented. I suggested. And then we flew back, and our flight got delayed. But that wasn't really interesting. And that yeah. was the end of the trip, really. 